Thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. Mm. We glorify your name, Lord, because you are a good God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Almighty Father. Thank you. We bless you for this privilege you've given us, Lord, to see another day. Father, the devil is aging. Try to make sure we are no more, but you defeated them as always. May your name be forever praised in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, there's a reason why you allow us to see the day. Father, let our eyes be open to see and to know that reason that we may manifest it to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Amen. I come against every plans and purpose and plots of the wicked. Let your plan alone be made manifest in our lives to your glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible told us in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. They give it thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Give it thanks unto the Father. Which has made us meet to be partaker, be one of them of the inheritance of the saint in light. Brethren, the topic before this morning is representing who you are. Representing who you are, or represent who you are. But then the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ came to redeem us is to make us what we are supposed to be. What is that thing you are supposed to be? What is that thing I am supposed to be? There's something the Lord God Almighty have created you and I to be which is not negotiable. If we refuse to manifest that thing, we are in trouble. So we are be made partaker of the saint in light. What are we doing in that light? We are to shine forth. We are in the light that you may be seen. We are in the light that you may be showcased. The Lord brought you and I into the light that he may showcase himself through us. That the world may know who we are. 
explains the Bible to us in the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. For ye are the light of the world, non negotiable. This is who you and I are. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill to be showcased, not to be hidden. That's who you are. A city that is due on the hill that every eye will see. Now, when the people see you, what they see you. The reason why the Lord is saying you should be on the hill is that He know what you are, what you should represent. And holy structure. The reason why the Lord is saying we are city built on the hill. Is that because he knows that you and I are made to be showcased, to showcase his glory. It means we are his glory carrier. It means we are his representative. It means all eyes, all men ought to see him through us. You and I are the light of the world. But it is a pity that many of us have refused to shine. What can we shine? Are we going to shine iniquity? Darkness does not shine. Sin does not shine. The reason why we are not shining is not because of the witch and wizard. It's not because of demons. It's because we have refused to shine because of sin. Sin has made us to be darkened. Sin has tied us down. That's why we are not manifesting what the Lord said we are. Many of us have turned Christ into a liar. It means we are calling God a liar when we are not shining as a light that we are supposed to be. The Lord Almighty did not say you are the light of your family. No, you are more than that. He don't say you are a light of a community. No, you are more than that. Say, ye are the light of the world. You and I are supposed to showcase Christ to the whole world. Wherever we go, the light will be shining bright. Every eye will see those in darkness. We see you and see light. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, that's why when Christ was on earth, wherever he goes, let's shine. That's why the Bible told us the people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them has the light shined. Isaiah 9, verse 2. The people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. Why? You know why? Because Christ was there. Wherever you and I go to, no matter how the people there are in darkness, no matter the obscurity of the darkness, once we enter there, light is supposed to shine. But it's unfortunate that many of us, wherever we go, in the darkness there, it becomes all dark. Because of the lifestyle we are living. Because we don't know who we are. We think we are, we say we are born again, but we are not showcasing the born again nature that we are. Many of us, there's nothing born again about us. The only thing that shows us the born again people is because there's, as a woman, there's no hearing there. As a man, maybe you look, you get suit, character. Inner man that is supposed to shine out there is full of iniquity. How can a heart that is full of evil envy shine forth? What are you going to shine? Are you going to shine? You are you going to shine sin? Sin does not shine, as I've said before. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Verse 15 of Matthew 5. 
Neither do men let a candle and put it under a bushel. No, but on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all that are in the house. This is the same thing the Lord wanted to do for you and I, or through you and I. We are like candles that the Lord God Almighty have put our light on. One thing to place us on a candlestick so that everybody will see. But many of us have refused to allow him to do so. There's nothing changed about us. We are still the way we are when he said, you are no more in the darkness. You have been translated into light. But because of our lifetime, because of our nature, because of who we are, we are not able to stay on that level that the people will see us and shine. Those who want to shine to, they are fornicators, we are fornicators. They are liars, we are liars. They do bribery, we do bribery. They, whatever they are used to work is forgery certificate. We are, we are also carrying forgery certificate. Everything they are carrying is what they are carrying. Who is shining to who? Who is shining to who? You are a second wife to a man. You say you are born again. The person you are preaching to is a second wife. What are you going to preach to the person? What kind of light are you? You are in darkness. So you are a man of God. All you are doing is how to suck for money from people. You are in darkness. You have nothing to represent Christ for. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. to us in the book of First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. This is who we are supposed to be. A selected people out of many. A choosing people out of a lot of people. God, look at you, okay? I believe this, my daughter, will be useful to me. Choose you out. But many of us have made ourselves useless in the hands of the Almighty God. Made ourselves useless because we have refused to leave our sin alone. We have refused to allow the new nature to take over the old nature. We have refused to allow the old nature to go. And let the new nature come. The Bible says, any man evil if any man being Christ he is a new creature all things have passed away so Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 all things have passed away but we have refused to allow all things to go we are still who we are we see barbite we see envy we still jealous, we still lost over the things that the people of the world are lost over, and yet we we'll carry a budget track and start sharing it. Don't you think we are sharing evil for people? Because you can only give out what you have. You can't give out what you don't have. Yes, if you give out what you don't have, you are committing sin against yourself. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, that is impersonation. Many of us are impersonating. We are not who we think we are. Rather, we are not who we are showing people we are. Our true nature is in there. We come out as another man. That is another sin again to us. But here are a choosing generation, so to say. A royal priesthood, so to say. A holy nation, a holy nation, and some people say it's not possible to be holy when God is saying a holy nation. For you to say it's not possible, it's another sin again. Yes, that is good. For any man on earth to say it's not possible to be holy, you are a rebel. Such a person is a rebel. You are fighting against. The word of God, because the word of God says you are a holy nation, a holy person. 
a peculiar people. What make you peculiar? Is it the sin? Is it the evil you are doing with your boss? Your boss is using battle to add things to things. You are doing with him, you are saying, I'm a born again. That your boss is laughing at you. Those friends in your office are saying, you are pretending to that you're a Christian. They know you. you. They are making mockery of you, not, not God. You can't mock God. They will do money or whatever they share for you. You are saying, I'm a Christian. You are taking it. You are, you are a disgrace. As a man of God, those in the government, they are taking bribery. You also, you are taking money before you pray for people. You are a disgrace to yourself, not to God. God cannot be mocked. If the politicians are taking bribery before they do anything, okay, I'll give you a contract of uh, 1 million euro. After that, that 1 million, I have uh, 60%. Okay, 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 we're saying. You also, a man of God, you are doing the same thing. Taking bribery for people to pray, to do whatever. You are a disgrace. You are not disgracing God yourself. We are supposed to be a peculiar people. This is who God said we are. We must represent our nature. We must showcase our peculiarity. We must showcase the light. You know, the Bible doesn't say, I will make you a light. Say, you are a light. Already made. Already made light. That you should show forth the praises of him who have called you. The reason why you and I are light, so to, are light, so to say, is for all to showcase God. God is light. When Christ was on earth, wherever he goes, light shine. But many of us now will ever go confusion. We are supposed to be exposing darkness, exposing sin. But today, the church has become a place where sin is being covered. And here they say, don't judge me. Foolishness. Christians are supposed to be people who repent sin. Not who absorb sin, no. Unlike charges. We are supposed to see sin and chase it away. But if the Christians not saying, don't judge me, not judge you, it is supposed to be a judge over sin. I say, don't judge me, you are absorbing it. You are a disgrace. Many of us are disgraced to the body of Christ. Many of us are mockers to the body of Christ, not members to his body. And our payment is waiting for us. Due payment. You know why? Because the Bible says the wages of sin is dead. Even though you are a Christian, even though you are a pagan, the wages of sin remain the same. It's dead. No matter what we are doing, be a preacher, be a whatever, the wages of sin remain the same debt. And I tell you, the wages that will be paid to those who know the truth will be more. Those who are sinning ignorantly, their wages is less. But you and I that say we are Christians and we are still living in sin, our wages will be more. More areas will be paid. Careful that we should showcase the praises of the Lord who have called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, out of sin into holiness, out of worldliness into godliness, out of unrighteousness into righteousness. But here we are, we are dwelling and living in sin, saying it does not matter. Where are you born out of? The Lord did not take us from sin to keep us in sin. No. No. He, brought us, he brought us out of sin 
and put us into holiness. The Bible, he brought them out of Egypt that he might bring them into Canaan land. But today, they are brought out of sin, want to remain in sin, and that is sin and enter heaven. It is not possible. Those who refuse to live right, the Lord brought them out of Egypt when they got to the transiting life. Because they refuse to change, they die in the wilderness. See, also many Christians are dying in the wilderness of life today. God remains the same. The day we say we are born again, we enter into the wilderness, transiting into heaven. If you refuse to change as you profess, you die the way those are dying. The wasters are still there. They are called into holiness, into light. Born out of darkness. Born into light. Born out of rewardness. Into life. Because we are refused to share forth. The Bible told us in the book of John, chapter number 8 to 12. Then speak Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Can you see now? Can you see? You and Christ are the same. What Christ is, is what we are. In Matthew 5, 14, say, Yea, are the light of the world. In John 8, 12, say, I am the light of the world. What God is, is what we are. No wonder he said he created us in his own image and likeness. He created me and you as light that he is. You are the light of the world. I, the Lord says, he is the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but have or shall have the light of life. The reason why we are dwelling in sin is because we have refused to follow our master. We have, we have followed our mind of sin, of iniquity, craftiness. We have refused to follow the light, the channel of light. No wonder the Bible says, the light comes to the world, but men love darkness. We prefer to be born again but nothing to showcase that we are born again. We profess to be born again, but those in the world are even better than some of us. All forgiveness remains the same. A Christian can keep malice for so long. That person comes to me that I beg you, you will never forgive me. You are not a Christian. You are a crushed stand. You are crushing. You are gone already, waiting for an, uh, the execution day. And if you become executed, you are finished forever. I will say, we shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. Amen. Came to die, not to keep us in sin. Came to die, that he might set us free, set us free from sin. But we have refused to live sin alone, and we are saying we are Christian. Do, you, do we know the meaning of Christian? Christ-like. He said to us, the princes of this world came and they found nothing in me. Is that not what he said? John chapter 6, verse 66 or so. If you guys better not read it, I don't care, I can't really remember the okay, I don't join 66. It's something. That is the same way he wants you and I to be. Let which are ways that they must come to us, they will find nothing of their nature in us. What is that sin? The Lord said they found not his sin. They found no sin in us, in him. But today, when they come now, they find lie. They find hatred. They find gossip. We are loaded. Loaded, loaded. And we are saying we are children of God. No, he said we are the children of our Father. Glance it by yourself. If you are a sinner, you say yes, you are a child of God, you are a liar. John 8 44. The ye are the children of the of your father, the devil. 
the will of your father you are doing whenever we sin automatically we are translated from light into darkness yes righteousness make us to be translated from darkness into light anytime we sin regardless of the sin we are automatically translated from light into darkness we have just changed our father at that time hallelujah Praise the Lord. Lord. Many people, Christians, so to say, the devil is holding the right of ownership over them. And why? What made the devil to get the right of ownership is sin, nothing else. Because he that is righteous is of God, and he that is sinner is of the devil. There is no middle man. No what? No middle man. It's either you are of God in holiness and in righteousness. He said, Be ye holy as your heavenly Father is holy. Be holy. For I am holy. The I that call you am holy. First Peter chapter 1, verse 15, 40 and 15. No, 40 to 16. Be ye dirty as your father the devil is dirty, or be ye holy as your father the Lord is holy. Choose. We cannot hide it from the Lord. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Even if I and you do not say ourselves, the Lord knows those who are his. Mm -hmm. Satan also knows his children. We cannot pretend to them. We can succeed in pretending to ourselves, but God and the devil know their children. Hmm. Whose daughter or son are you? If you say you are a son of God and you are living in sin, it's another leg again. You are adding mostly to sin. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I would yeah. the book of Acts chapter 30 verse 47. For so had the Lord commanded us, saying, is a command. So had the Lord commanded us, saying, I have said thee to be a light of the Gentiles, sister. Bless you, Samagwe. It's a command that we must keep. Saying, I have said thee to be a light of the Gentiles that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the end of the earth. Is that not what your Bible says, Sadie Joy? Yes, sir. He has sent you. He commanded you and I say, He has put us there. He has positioned us there. But we are there doing something else. To be a light unto the Jesus, unto those that don't know him. To be a light to the people who are not in him, so that through all they will see and come to the light. But today, churches have become a place of darkness. You see a fornicator, a prostitute with a high heel singing, and the Bible, the Bible says, Holy Ghost is there. Which Holy Ghost is there? It's the church of doom. You cannot differentiate between a prostitute and a Christian this day. I say you are a light, you are not a light, you are a darkness. Right? That thou shouldest be for salvation, not a destruction, for salvation unto the end of the earth. And the Bible is saying the endless expectation of, of creation waited for the manifestation of the children of God. When are we going to start manifesting our nature of light? The Lord is patiently waiting for us. And remember, we have a time limit. Armstrong says, except the limit is not exceeded. When the time for it to go home comes, 
And if you go with that showcasing what God has called you, with all this that Lord called you, he said you are a light. He said you are a salvation to the earth. He said you are this. If you don't manifest this, it's that calling, calling number God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we go to the end? It's that altar. If you don't manifest it, go help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Proverbs 20, I'll stop here. It was over the way. Proverbs 20, 27. The spirit of the Lord of Emma is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. The spirit of the man is the candle. Let the candle in you now set that sin in you. The spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. It's the one that searches the heart, that sin. It's another day now. Search that sin you slept with and let the light shine it. Let your evil part be searched now with that candle. Let your spirit man come back to life again. Mm -hmm. Let your conscience start walking again. I want you to press it further. From this world, I want to start showcasing who you, are, who you say I am. Whenever the Lord sees us, another thing we are being rebellious i was a father i have been a rebel from today i want to be who you want me to who you, who you have called me to be you said i am the light of the world father i will start sharing you now i'm a i'm a city built on the hill father i want to start showcasing you I'm a salvation unto the earth. Father, I want to become a savior to the people to, to glorify you. Open your mouth and pray if that is your, is your mind. But if not, no problem. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. King of glory and Lord of lords, Father, have mercy upon me. I've been a rebel. 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 that whatever is fighting your new your newness of life that old adamic serpent nature in you that refuse to allow the light of god in you you to share that spirit shall die today in the name of jesus Amen. Amen. are you there you are not born again and you have heard this word this morning, the light has shone on you. You have yeah. no reason again to remain in that darkness. As if rapture meets you in that darkness, or you die in that darkness, here this word alone will be under punishment for you. Mm. I want you to say after me, 
if you want to give your life to God and become the light you have called you to be. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. Now I know that I'm living against my nature. My nature is the nature of light. I'm sorry for allowing myself to be deceived by the devil for all these years. But this hour, I renounce the devil and everything that has to do with him. I confess today that our Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving my soul. I go now to showcase you in your holiness and true righteousness. So, help me. Amen. I agree with you. You have covered this confession. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. Thank, thank you for speaking to me and using me to speak to your children this morning. Thank you. Thank you for your word that put some people out of darkness into light. Thank you. I ask, oh God, that light we keep shining in them in thank total you. holiness and righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The spirit of compromising have made the churches of today to derail. Father, these ones will not compromise their faith, they will not compromise their garment, they will not compromise their light, they will not set it for nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, those of us who, God, who have sold our salvation unknowingly, Father, I ask of God your mercy. Restore us back and give us the grace to overcome everything that the devil will be bringing our way to buy us to himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because those things calling our attention to put us into detention, we overcome them from now on. Amen. Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yes, Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.